without getting complex. You said you like women with big butts. Yeah, you did. You told your boys that. You don't like me. But you did. Now, you, know, you need to lose a few pounds. No, you need to quit looking at that other person over there. But you can launch a missile. You know what? You just want stupid wives. You know how many years it's going to take you to live that down? That stuff coming up. You can tell him, you know what, as a man, you should be like brother so-and-so. Now, he loved his, well, you'd be like, go get with brother so-and-so. When you make comparisons, you launching missiles. Man, I must be talking to, who am I talking to? I wish you was like brother. Well, I wish you was like sister. You can launch missiles at your kids. That's war. But cold war is what happens when you won't talk to each other. You ignore each other. Grunt. <laughs> you don't say good morning. You say morning. <laughs> morning. <laughs> we know <laughs> it ain't night. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Try. <laughs> you know you're in cold water. When you first got together, you would kiss one another with bad breath. Mwah, good morning. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. After a while, it's morning. <laughs> Her voice deeper than yours. Morning. <laughs> There's a man in there. I look like her, but morning. <laughs> Check it. Are you? Yes, about seven days. Morning. <laughs> Y'all don't like me, do you? <laughs> That's all right. I'm just telling you. Because you got a cold water going now. <laughs> Y'all want to hurry up and get in a relationship so you don't have a cold water going. All the married people need to say, man, you know good well. We have cold wars. I love me, yeah, but you're going to have a cold war. Get off of me, man. Don't, don't talk. That's a cold war. <laughs> oh, I could say so much more about that because that's why after a while everything falls apart and you go into cold war. And I'm not going to do this because they don't do that. We're in a cold war now. So you want love for what we? Because you're going to have cold war. And you're going to have to launch missiles. I've been paying all the rent bill. I've been paying. Oh, now you're launching missiles now. <laughs> the hidden bill, too. That's who. Oh, listen, I got the receipts. I got, then he's going to stop you before you get. Oh, wait a minute. Come here. Let me tell you. <laughs> Y'all in a war. Ain't going to be no babies made that week. <laughs> and that's why we have divorces. Because they keep getting in the Cold War. Yet their kingdom, people, should be kingdom people. Going to church. But you're in the Cold War. You're in the Cold War with your fiance. <laughs> Russia and, and the United States right now, listen, man, sign an agreement. <laughs> Say you ain't coming into Ukraine. Sign an agreement we can. And that's all engagement is. Make a covenant with me. Cold wars, when you know I ain't going to make it now, you got to give me some concessions over here. Now, if you give me Poland and Romania, but that's why it takes so long. That's Cold War. You got to learn that so you, wait a minute, this person won't come to the negotiating table. Ain't no sense you're feeling bad, you just picked a loser. If you a winner, why would a winner want to get with a loser? Hello, wait a minute. What do you think of yourself? 
If I keep asking you to be my beloved or to come on, let's seal the deal, and you keep running to Romania, Poland, holding out, we ought to stand still. I'm talking kingdom. I can't get to, can't get to, I'm, I won't. Because I'm trying to create a kingdom. A girl for you and a boy for me. Says baby face. That's the whole point of the engagement. Let's work out the details. Oh, God, I got to stay here for a second. All we doing, working out details. Now, how we going to do this? How we going to take the world on? Most of us, the reason why we're miserable now is because we didn't work out the details. Some are still looking back, hoping they'll come back to the bargaining table, and they're already negotiating somewhere, <laughs> somewhere else. And we feel bad. We feel used. And like America, Russia, all of them, we ready to launch missiles. That's why we'll tell anybody, she was no good. He was no good. Now we, we let, we're launching ballistic missiles now. But most of us have to learn what we should have learned, that engagement ain't about eating, drinking, uh, the whining and dining. It's about negotiation. And you doing somebody a disservice, you see them marching down the aisle, and, oh, we finna spending all that money, got 29 bridesmaids and 29 bridegrooms, and you just want to shake your head sometimes. Oh, God, I wish I could scream. And they say, does anybody say why they shouldn't? You want to stand up? Really? You know, I don't think so. They shouldn't. You know you done been there. You're always looking for the ex-lover to do it. You as a, you as a mama should stand up because that girl going to drive that boy crazy. You, daddy, 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 forget about they brought you in. Stand up and say something because she coming to your house. Daddy, he, he cheating on me, he beating on me. Okay, you, I saw it in him because I used to be like that too and I've seen it. The engagement ain't for playing house. How many of y'all, when y'all six, seven, played house with the little girl? You didn't do bad stuff. Played house. Yeah, they made you tea and biscuits. <laughs> didn't, <laughs> didn't you play house with your little Yeah, you played house with Roxanne. We all played house. Said, Let's play house. And we go play house, you know. And then, uh, but there ain't what engagement for playing house. It's for establishing the kingdom. I don't just want to be your queen. I want to be your king in cooperation under one king. Because if I'm just going to be your queen, then you just you can dominate me and treat me any kind of way because I'm a queen. But we submitting to one another. Now, I know I'm a king. But do you know you're a king? Because you don't bring me all that insecure stuff. Good God, this don't even sound like the Bible, but I know it's true. Sound like some kind of philosophy, but it ain't. When you don't know who you are, you're going to try to get your way by pouting. I know what I would do. I would just act like when he tried to hold me, I'd just, okay. <laughs> when, he, when, when she tried to be nice to me, I'm going to just act like I don't hear her. What? It's <laughs> 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 where you heard her. <laughs> Robert, is you going to, what? <laughs> you know, what you try to do is show <laughs> Yeah, and y'all want <laughs> We got to work out some details. Now, we learned that we fit like a glove physically. But now, we got to work the details out. Oh, come on. Some of y'all get the third base before you get the first. So, we ain't got to go there. So, we understand. This time we live in. We didn't work that out. If you know how to ride a bike, <laughs> I know how to ride a bike. <laughs> now let's work the details out. Come, I'm coming over. I won't try to ride the bike again. Come on, no, 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 no. We ain't riding the bike tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and a woman's gonna respect the man that won't ride the bike with her. Because sometimes women won't ride the bike. Come on, ride, let's ride the bike, Bill. Ride the bike. No, no, I'm gonna talk about this. Situation. Then she know I can trust my man. 
He can tell me no. And looking at all this, my, well, let's negotiate. What is it that you're going to need? <laughs> and then you sit back and forth. And you make it public. Let everybody know. It's my patrol. So you don't have to sneak around and be with each other at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night, and don't nobody know about it. You protecting yourself. You bringing her into your community where your community can observe her and you can see how she going to act and how he going to act. He getting your community always got a nose stuck up. And why are you fooling with these people? I don't like these people. These are your family. My family come with me. My three kids by another woman. I ain't got that. But three kids by another woman. Baby over the hill. That one is questionable. All that come with me. <laughs> Let's put that on the table here. So you don't make me just take care of your kids. Want me to? But I, you know, I got three before you. Oh, y'all don't want to hear this. This is for somebody out there. So if you see me going to pay the bill, I mean, you know, maybe I shouldn't mail it, but she, whatever. I'm giving her the money. Don't think we running in the back room trying to talk about old times. Come on, go with me. But why should I stop feeding my other three kids that you knew I had? Oh, this is for somebody. And why should a woman neglect her kids because she with him now? It's all kingdom, which means taking care of what God gave you to the place you would die to defend it. You had them three kids. I can't, son, I can't come over because my, my ex-wife, get, my, my new wife get jealous. Of she know I'm over here talking to your mama. How old are you? I'm five. And 15, son, I'm sorry I missed all your games and all your touchdowns, but I, my, my wife, she don't want me. To. Then the boy, 20, and then, you know, he make it in the pros. And then, hey, son, <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> he'd be like, you, you my daddy. <laughs> oh, God, help me, Jesus. Because you didn't take the time to negotiate, tell the new wife now. Now, that one over there, she look crazy. But I love you. <laughs> and I got kids by her. So now when you take me, sometimes our money got to go. Y'all ain't saying that. Let's praise the Lord. Okay, Pastor, go hurry up. And PTA meeting, hospital kid gets sick. You got to see my ex-husband. Ain't no sense you looking up there daring him because he can whoop your butt. He's a martial artist. So you, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you <laughs> sit in the room and be quiet, Bill, because he will whoop you. <laughs> he whooped me, he will whoop you too. So, <laughs> but don't be tripping with him. We can all get along together. He's just here to see about his child in trouble, son, and we ain't over reminiscing about how it used to be. It's a lot better than you, but we ain't reminiscing. <laughs> okay, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. These are the truth. You better take this. Tell your girlfriend, I think he got some kids. You better know. I think he, because <laughs> they will show up, baby, on their hip like this one his. And part of that, all of a sudden he coming, honey, they have, uh, they garnish my wages for a little nook nook. <laughs> well, how much? $650 a month. Oh, Lord, baby. How much you make a month? 1200 Now, every woman in this room know your love would just kind of be. <laughs> you, 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 you weren't satisfied with it 1200 But now, Nook Nook over on Beulah's hip getting the money. <laughs> and he would, come on, baby, I love you. Come on, let's just go in the room and shut the door. <laughs> I want to shut the door with you. I wish that I made another choice. 
I was broke before I met you. I got to work with Nook Nook's mama. I see her. She wear new shoes, new stockings. <laughs> you, am I right, lady? You got to be a real Christian in the kingdom to go over there and say, you look good, Nook Nook's mama. You look good. <laughs> you want to snatch them stockings off of her, don't you? You girls know what I'm talking about. You women know what I'm talking about. <laughs> her weave is just tight. Her hair tight. Yours is nappy in the roots, you know. <laughs> and you think it. $650 of his money and my money. Because you didn't negotiate. <laughs> Let's take a praise break and go home. <laughs> oh, God is good. Okay, Jesus. Well, if I don't give you one scripture, this won't be efficient. So let me try to do that and we'll move on. But the kingdom has order. And the reason we don't have order in our life is because we are not walking in the kingdom. You go to church and all that, and you'd be so frustrated because you have chosen to live like an earthling. We've all made mistakes. We've all done things ahead of time. We've gotten involved. But listen, I'm in the kingdom now, so it's time for me to fix all that. Can't do that again. I'm not going to marry an earthling. I don't want to sleep with an earthling. I don't want to have no kind of conjugal contact with an earthling. Because earthlings will trip on me. You got to see yourself that I'm from a king, man. I'm like, I'm like coming to America. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the Arsenio Hall one. <laughs> but by that, Arsenio wanted to live the life. The other one won't let the life go. And marry an earthling. But some of us, we get in trouble later. Listen to me. I love you. Wars come from fighting among you. Come they not hence from the lust that war in your members. It's because we choose an earthling. Earthlings are, are, are very good to look at because they earthly. Ladies, as long as you stay earthly, you gonna you might attract somebody uh, who who got kingdom in them, but if you're earthly, outshines your kingdom, you can bring him down to your kingdom. Brothers, you can be a king and uh, vice versa. Somebody be attracted to your earthly. You know, earthly is all the parts of our body that we use skillfully. Our lips, our hands, our conversation. But eternal bliss don't come from knowing how to work the earthly stuff. You got to know how to do kingdom. You got to forgive somebody that is thinking earthly. Oh, man, good God, help me, Holy Ghost. Now, you, you said we were going to be co-kings. That's why we work it. I'm the man, you the female, but in our body, but if there's two kings come together, two kings come together as one, we can do anything. We can come out of poverty. Don't matter I'm in the projects. But guess what? In a few years, we're going to be living on top of the hill. We can come out and yo, I got credit cards max, you got credit cards max. Don't matter. I'm sick, you sick. But we're going to come together, and as two kings, we can decree things, we can say things, we can establish things. But now, in the middle of the deal, you want to get earthly all of a sudden. You know, you handling everything like earth, you know. You got to have your way all the time. Arms folded. Wait a minute then. You want me to stay home, don't you? <laughs> Work with the woman too. Or if you're just going to neglect me all the time, you ain't never got a kind word to say to me. If you don't know who you are, you're going to start acting earthly. And then another earthling start hollering at you. When you know you're a king, you know you can't spread the royal seed, male or female. Oh, come on. Y'all need to act like I'm telling the truth. 
You, you, along the way, you might forget, but I can't spread the royal seed is it because I am a king. What if you become pregnant? I have to take care of that. And a woman, you know, I'm a king. Sure, you're handsome, but just because you're handsome don't mean that we need to consummate, sir. <laughs> you don't get to talk down to me. You don't get to pull me down. You get to tie me to an oven. Tie me. I want to go to college. You don't get to bring a whole bunch of debt on me. Now we can't fly at all. I didn't sign up for this. My mom and daddy taught me better. I didn't got with you. You got low self-esteem issues. You're an alcoholic, functional alcoholic. You're a drug addict. Can't pay your bills. Can't keep your pants on. I got to hide all that, keep it undercover. And my mama and sister know that. They'd be over here. They'd whoop your behind. They knew you was treating me like this. I gave you my word. I'm going to try to stay with you. Get it together, king. And we get mad. Don't talk to me like that. Well, kings, because they love, and love has no fear, we learn how to say, now listen now. Told you I love the ground. You're welcome. Don't come away now. <laughs> My right to be in my room here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I hear so much. You know what? A king, even in David's day, when Mephibosheth sat at the king's table, he was lame from his waist down. Because he had been dropped when he was a kid. Mephibosheth was a man that was being nursed by a nurse. And when the nurse heard the word that uh, Saul was dead and Jonathan was dead, she, uh, he, was, he was Saul, uh, uh, Jonathan's son. Jonathan's son, excuse me. When he heard the word that his, the nurse, when she heard the word that the baby's father had died, she dropped the baby. The baby came up lame, you know, legs was all out. It was deformed, what we would call deformed in the day. I don't know if that's the proper word, but the baby couldn't walk. The baby had to be carried everywhere. But David saw Mephibosheth as different because he made a covenant with Jonathan, which was his friend, that if something ever happened to me, I'm going to make sure that your bloodline is still blessed. David called for Mephibosheth, who was down at a place the Bible called Lodibar. Lodi Bar was like I told you where I came from, the bottom. Lodi Bar was where it wasn't no good. There was a little good, but there was a whole lot going on in Lodi Bar. Say, bring Mephibosheth up so he can eat at the king's table. Mephibosheth came up. He sat at the table. All the royal people around the table with David. When David eating his venison, David eating his cauliflower, whatever, Mephibosheth sitting at the table with his and. What it says to us, that even though we're lamed and we can't walk, we've been invited to the king's table. We don't take that lameness and try to walk out our life. You know, I'm, I'm lame, so I can't come to the table because I ain't worthy. He said, bring your lameness to my table. And when you come to the table, I may be lame in some areas. But the Lord invited me to my table, and I'm popping my collar because I'm at the king's table. I'm not coming down from the king's table to sup with no paupers and no people who want to bring me back to Lodabar. I know where Lodabar. He brought me up out of Lodabar. You need to come on say something here. You in Lodabar, I, I really like you. Come on back to Lodabar. Uh-uh, I'm eating at the king's table now, player. I'm not eating that slop down there. I don't have my mind changed. I used to be easy. I'm talking about a man. I don't want you. I ain't got no use for you. Because of where you living. You better, yeah. Whatever. I'm lame. You, you know, I, I knew you. Yeah, whatever. But I'm sitting at the king's table. Now, why should I come down from caviar, catfish? Eat slop out of jaws with you. 
She broke self. She broke mine. You get to the king's table, and you'll look, and God will have somebody at that table that's, that's, that, that you'll say, now, nah, now, nah, let's serve together. But too many of us as Christians, not just, I ain't just talking about physically. We feel compelled to go back where we came from. Come out of it. And a simple thing as the dinner table, if it ain't but two of y'all in the house, eating together more often, sitting there with the kids. It's how you govern a king. Let me talk to you young married people. Some of you old too. How you going to have a kingdom and you don't never sit at the table with everybody? Kings sit at tables, man. Reclining all the time. Kings be sitting at the table. It's at the table where you start to govern. Watch TV and watch Russia, China, Germany. They ain't all sitting back in barca lounges and Sitting back, bring me, bring me some drink. And they're talking, well, how are we going to do this? We going to play? We gonna do they're sitting at tables. They got notepads. Because when you're negotiating and when you're running your kingdom, you need to be looking people eye to eye. The reason our children have gotten out of control, you can't handle them because they're in a room. You never bring them to the table. They, can't, they won't sit down. My God, give them a high chair and strap their hands behind their back. But teach them. One day they're going to have to go sit with somebody at the office job, and they eat slopping elbows all on the table, standing on the table, dancing and all that. They ain't cute. Teach them at the table. Sit still. Eat with the fork and not the knife. Stand up straight. Quit singing. Quit chewing gum. Quit humming. We don't want to hear that. Don't get out and break dance between every hot dog. Sit, sit your butt down. He's going to be a dancer like Michael Jackson, but right now he needs to sit down. 